Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah Question was asked from London, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and the Muslimin everywhere Ameen ya rabbil alameen He says may Allah honor you and you as well, Ameen Please can you advise us on the following matter Is it permissible for females to speak in front of men and females of course But they will be sitting side by side with a gap between the two sides in a medical school setting As part of an Islamic society event regarding academics, meaning how to do well in medical school academically. First and foremost, uh, as far as halal and haram, these things you should post to the ulama sunnah. And if we have uh, knowledge about that, of course, we will share. Uh, in general, when you're in uh, situations, as with many of the youth that are studying in uh, secular universities, trying to advance themselves in this life as well as the next, because this is a wasila, this is a means, and I meet, believe Imam Sa'di, even though some of the ulama differ with him with regards to this, he even defined this knowledge uh, that if it's going to help you, even if it's not Sharia based knowledge and it's going to help you practice your deen. Uh, you know, for example, being an engineer, being a doctor, or what have you, and those that wealth and those things, you're using it for good. Using the qaida al wasail laha ahkam al maqasid, meaning that the means for something takes the uh, the ruling of the of the ends. I know there's a better way to say this: the 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 means justify the ends, or what have you. Meaning that let's explain it a little bit clearer. That if you have that 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 does not mean that we take haram means in order to get to a uh, halal ends. For example, the one who says, "Yes, I need to be a doctor, so I'm going to take riba. I'm going to take a riba-based loan, and I'm going to do this. And when I become a doctor, I'm going to spend." my wealth and good and I'm going to help the Muslims and I'm going to help people and I'm going to do this and do all these good works. So here they took a haram means to get to a halal and good ends. This is not permissible and that is not what the maqsid or the intent of that qaida is, that, that ruling that we mentioned, that, that um, um, principle that we mentioned, that thick principle, but rather the principle is stating a wasail laha ahkam al maqasid, meaning that you take a you must take a halal means in order to get to a halal ends. So we, we can't compromise that. And this also, I want to point out a habit of Allah, that also we see a lot of the groups, a lot of the religious sects, the jama'at, like Akhwan Muslimin. This is a base principle with them that instead they may want a good end sometimes. They want a good end. You know, they want to... Uh, uh, have a good mint, but a lot of times they will, they're willing to compromise the means in order to attain their ends. Likewise, uh, a lot of the groups, uh, even the people of Tasawwuf, you know, some of the extreme Sufis, that some of them, that they want a good ends, they want to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they take a tariq batal, they take a false means. So they go to the dead, they supplicate to the dead, they supplicate to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or whatever shirkiyat or bid'ah that they, they do in order to get to a good end. But Ahlul Sunnah must be vigilant and what distinguishes them between those groups. One of the things is that they follow that qaida by being on the halal means to receive the halal ends. So, going back to what you said, more specifically, you mentioned is it permissible for females? So if you are already in a situation, the sisters that are already in the situation, they're in the university and they're doing this, they're completing their education, they're doing, uh, the, the main thing is to observe Islamic manner. So meaning you're wearing proper hijab, you're doing whatever it, you can to not be excessive in mixing. So you're taking the means, as you said, sitting on different aisles, not sitting next to men if you can avoid it definitely not communicating not going with jeff to the coffee shop or or muhammad or whoever but rather you are trying to observe your islam and just trying to get your education so you can finish and go on, move forward in your life and so you want to observe things and be 
uh, halal as possible. So the sister who is going to speak in front of men's because that's going to be something obligatory probably in your program or you will need to do these things, obviously. You're going to ask questions, you're going to... Then to make sure that their voice is not subductive, to make sure that they're wearing proper uh, hijab and they're not doing anything to entice others, that they're trying to be as Islamic, pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as possible. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala Muhammad.